Hello everyone, it is Mr. Osmo here and I am going to attempt to wing it and play some Kerbal Space Program today. A little video just before Christmas for you. Um, I am going to do live commentary throughout this whole video. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work. I'm literally just going to wing it, as I said. Um, I'm just going to show you my current save game and where I am at this point. It dies on a load. But currently... I am playing in career mode. I have a random assortment of ships floating around. All I've done at the moment is pretty much just launch probes everywhere. There is a small probe orbiting the moon, which is also a keyframe scanner. That's the only mod I have installed, apart from the multiplayer mod, which I uh, had a little play with the other day, but it's not all that amazing. Just time to accelerate so we can have a good look at this thing. But this model for the uh, probe I'm going with here, I've pretty much used throughout. It seems to be pretty good, pretty universal. It's, uh, it's a good little craft. I happily just floats around. There you go, it's just found some keyframe with the little bongs. But it's pretty simple, just a battery, some solar panels, well, a ton of batteries actually, some rocket fuel and a little fuel engine, just to shift it about in its orbit if I need to. And that is pretty much the... Uh, same one that is floating about everywhere. I did do some small landings on the moon um, just to get some science. But I have these probes at Minmus, Juna, Lave, um, and there's a lander on uh, currently on Juna, which was my first landing there. I decided to do everything with probes because I thought it was more of a natural progression through the game rather than just going for crazy launched missions. As you can see this is the science mobile, I like to call it. Um, oh sorry, another mod I'm using is the um, fairings mod. Don't ask me which one, I cannot remember. It's just one of the random fairings mods. Just to make stuff look cool as it flies through the atmosphere. Um, so I don't really for that. It's got me a bit of science, and if you don't know, the name of the game is pretty much in career mode to progress through the technology tree, unlocking things with science. You gain science by going to different places. Gaining science at the moment, I only have a pitiful 32 science, but as you can see, I have not quite a hefty amount of the tech tree with that, just using probes. I went straight for the nuclear engine, because if I wanted to go anywhere, I was going to need that. Recently, I, I unlocked the large engines and some more fairing parts and stuff. Um, I did want space plane parts. I have been playing with space planes, but not successfully in all fairness. I haven't really been getting very far with those. I'm not bothered with uh, rovers at the moment. I haven't unlocked any of the rover wheels just because they're terrible and they break. And they're only really good on places like stuff of high gravity and, and atmospheres. But yeah, that's about it. Um, what I'd like to show you is currently orbiting Kerbin is my space station called Joule, well, mainly because it was going to go to Joule and I haven't bothered renaming it yet, but it's also it's kind of slapped together at the moment. I am going to build it and it's hopefully going to be interplanetary. As you can see this is one of my large landers here. This lander should be capable of going anywhere pretty much. It has a lot of parachutes little engines, it has two keyframe drills, a keyframe tank, and then I can convert it to any fuel. It has solar panels, no scientific equipment, but it's just mainly to just go up and down from planets and redock with the space station. This section here is literally just a small engine, like a tug at the moment, just to move this thing around. It will be being removed and replaced. Um, it's all got large docking nodes on it, docking nodes on top, docking nodes on here, lots of places to attach parts to, and all these smaller ones around the outsides. Um, I do want to put two space planes on this, and some additional fuel canisters for extra fuel, but hopefully in this game, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to build building the replacement section for this, which is going to be pretty big, I hope. I've just kind of started making it, but I can't remember how far I got with it. I literally just put the game on and that was it. Is this it? I don't remember what it was called. No, that was it. That was the uh, first part. 
see this is the bit that got it into orbit when you saw up there. Oh god. Oh there we go. Main sail. Here it is. Alright, this is the main sail. So this is gonna be the actual part that pushes this thing through space. Eight nuclear engines, large fuel tank, and yeah. It's, it's probably just gonna destroy itself in all fairness. I it can't run on full throttle, I imagine it's just gonna explode. Like this. Yeah, see that never works, does it? It never works. Put some space tape on here just to keep this thing together a little bit more. Probably what I'm going to do here is cut away from live commentary and just forward, fast forward my way through this just so you can see the progression of it building, trying out different things. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a launch stage. Alright. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's night time. Great. Oh my god, it's exploding already. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he survived though. It's a bit broken. Oh, bouncing around. Can we control this? Yeah, we can. <laughs> um. Fire up the engines! Fire up the engines! No, it's not going anywhere. Right. Uh, revert flight, the vehicle assembly on it. Okay, we've got a problem here. There we go. A ah, little bit of tape holding the thing together. And now let's save, and then let's try this launch again. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and time accelerate today so you can actually see this launch. Oh, oh! No, an engine fell off. Let's just fire the engines anyway. Oh, it's not working. Why is it not working? Oh god, everything's broken. That's dead. We're dead. Right, I'm back. I messed around with it. I fucked about with the design, and this is what I've come up with. It looks... Well, in all fairness, it doesn't look anything like a fucking rocket, does it, really? It's, um, it's a bit of a mess, but it should work. I've had to put these little fuel tanks stuck at the side just to transfuel transfer fuel from this large orange one down just keep the weight down I'm not fussed by getting this thing up there full of fuel I just wanted it up there and they gone over there it's going just a graphical glitch um but yeah this should get me there let's fire her up shall we and it wiggles around a lot come on straighten up all right so hopefully I'm gonna try and head up to about 15,000 meters and then try and start turning. God damn, these nuclear engines are over here. Okay, this thing quick enough to get up there. It's quite cool from the back. Right, let's get rid of these engines then. Boom. Get rid of those guys. What are we at? 7,000. Let's wait for it. Spacebar to activate the stage. See, we are going bloody fast now. And we are out. And it is gone. Alright, now let's go. Start pitching over. So we click out to the orbit menu using M. And that's how. So this is, if we switched off our engines, that is how high we would get. So I'm going to turn off my engines actually now. And I got to here, put the maneuver node in, and then drag it out. So we can get an orbit. And we don't want to go that high. We only want a 120 kilometer orbit. And take a second to go right there. Okay. What's that? That's fine. We can sort that out in a second. Um, and you can see which direction it wants me to go in. It wants me to face it in that direction. But still, we're still traveling in that direction. And it's a four minute burn. We really need to start now. Because we've only got a minute till we get to the top. I should have really been paying attention to that. I'm going to have to pitch up a little bit to keep ourselves going up, boys, otherwise we're going to start going downhill. Alright, you can see our applaps has moved away from us now, so if we pitch down, direction flying along horizontal, we should start moving up. There we go. This is very slowly gaining altitude. I'm probably going to have to pitch up a little bit. As soon as you start going down, oh, you don't want to start going down. 
start using a hell of a lot of fuel to keep yourself up in the air. I'm just keeping mine just above the horizon. Just keep burning. Maybe we can circularize our orbit before we run out of fuel. I have got a lot of fuel though, it is running down quick though. I'm going to pitch down now because it rising up. Here we go. We've got an orbit. We're not high enough though, we'll crash back into the surface if we can like that, but wait for this to get above 75, 80, that'll do, do nicely. Alright, we're in space. We are not going to fall back towards the Earth. We've completed our mission. All we need to do now is dock. Not the easiest task. But what really needs to happen now is I turn off RCS, turn off SAS so we don't run down our power. And what we need to do now is set this little guy, set the target, our closest approach. What we need to do now is just fast travel. And hopefully I should technically catch him up. Because he's a little bit further away than I am. While I'm here I'll show you the rest of the galaxy. Because then there's the Kerbin, there is the Moon, then we have Minimus, which is the next planet out. Little Moon, not a lot of gravity, very easy to land on. There we are. Lots of different planets. The dual system is by far the coolest system. Big gas giant in its centre. Lots of little moons and things orbiting it. How are we doing guys? How are we doing? Alright, 117. I'm gonna... Alright, I've got my encounter. Got it down. All I'm doing is waiting for the node. which drag these little things. Set up my encounter. And we're waiting for the burn. So what are we on? 1715. So in a couple of seconds we need to start burning. And we should meet there, four kilometers away from each other. Oh crap, I'm missing burn, let's go. Let's just go full throttle, shall we? See, I don't really need to pay attention because I've got this little thing telling me what to do and this little thing telling me what to do. So we just wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. If I just delete the node now, we should see these guys come towards each other. We should be on throttle down. Count these guys in. No, because the separation is now moving apart, which is awesome. Okay. That's going back up. Fuck it. That'll have to do. That'll have to do. Alright, let's go. What I normally do is I put a maneuver node there. If I can do it, that maneuver node. There you go. Let's wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And we are there. What we need to do now, all we need to do is kill 19 meters a second of velocity. So if we go here, just throttle up a tiny little widget. Let's bring that down. Let's burn it out quick, shall we? Oh, there we go. There he is, over there. And what we'll do is, we won't face him, we just need to slow down a bit more. And what I'm going to do is I need my RCS to slow myself down. Line myself up with that, and burn. Um, see that's counting down now. We need to slow ourselves down a little bit. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, let's try to get that to zero, shall we? Or at least point one. No, point one. Well, no, point two, that'll do. Right, now all we need to do is go over there to it. Let's line ourselves up with it, which is that one there. Out there. So let's uh, I'm gonna use RCS to break this time. It doesn't, doesn't do a great job of it. In all fairness, let's just use my engines. There you go. All right. All right. Let's go over there, shall we? Slow down then. Right. Alright, what we can do is we can switch from this vessel to this vessel and we can go Control from uh, wait, control from here, and we can couple 
No one needs to put this on, and one of these buttons should be reverse. There we go, reverse. Get this thing off of there. Now what I need to do is just move this thing out of the way. No. Switch back to that in a second. Now let's go to this one and make sure this guy is... Oh, no, that's docking on you. Let's go on this one and just make sure he's facing north. Which makes it a lot easier to dock. There you go. Switch back to him. Right, now what we need to do is make ourselves face north, like so, like that. And we're going to switch over to docking controls and line ourselves up. So let's make sure we are facing along an axis. And which buttons do which? That's that way. So we need to go this one. And we need to go down. Let's go down first. Reduce the chances of colliding with it. Slow down. Down, there we go. And now we need to go towards it, towards it in that way, okay. we're lining them up now on this side, it's just floating away. What's that over there? It's like a moon or something. Which button is it? That one. That one. That one. Cool. Go back down. Now what we need to do is line ourselves up with this way. Come on. That's it. Turn. Turn. Come on. Go up. Should be able to dot these things together now. On a bit of an angle, but we got big strong magnets, so. Nothing. Target. There we go. He's on. We're in there. Control from here. Undock. So now we have control. Docked it a bit pissed up, but I can change that. Just wiggle that around. There we are. All I need to do now is to couple and switch to that. There he is. What I'll do with this little guy. If I can find his velocity vector. Need RCS. And this little guy now is just going to go full throttle. And what he should do now is crash back in. What? Oh, damn it. Put the nodes the wrong way around. Look at it's that way I want to be heading. Bring that down, not up. Sun's setting. You can see now we're coming down which means this thing is going to have a crash course with the planet. Hope they don't fly into any of this crap. So. Fly into my space station, that wouldn't be good. There you go, this thing is now lost in orbit. Back to the map, yeah. 
and cut throttle and hopefully switch to something else. Yep, there we go. Let's couple that node, switch to him, fire up his engines. Oh, what happened there? The one that's already floating away, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. Fire up his engines and fly him back towards the planet as well. And now we need to deal with this guy. Just transferred some fuel out of this really. Let's to come down on a some land. There we go. I'm gonna come down on this side, aren't I? Which I didn't think about, but right, we might as well follow this guy down. Let's travel a bit. Right, are we burning up yet? Oh there we are, yeah, now we're burning up. Well, where do we look like we're going to land? Oh, right there. Right. So let's uh, fire off that and fire those. And now it should be a case of drifting down to the surface. And down we come. Bonk. And the boys are home. Cover their vessel. Got 1.7 science for it. Great. And there you go, guys. There's the main cell attached. So, uh, I hope you liked the video, if you liked it, say, if you don't like it, say, <laughs> not first, <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching, cheers, bye.